National Bank and the DeSmith County Farm Bureau Insurance Agency. Well, good evening, folks, and welcome uh, to Perryton over the air up here uh, just south of the Yukon Territory on the edge of the state of Texas, really. Uh, just about, uh, I guess we could be on the north side of town and be uh, just about as far north as you can get, but on the uh, southwest edge of Perryton this evening for a uh, District 4-4A matchup, the White Faces and the Rangers of Perryton in action tonight. Uh, Perryton is uh, the sixth place seed at the moment, a few games back from Hereford. Uh, they are uh, pretty much uh, without a uh, chance for the playoffs as Pampa currently sitting in that fifth place seed, but a uh, uh, tough team for us. As you know, if you followed along, we uh, fell to the Rangers at home uh, midseason. That was a Really an off night for both the Lady White Faces and the White Faces when uh, Perryton came to town and got it done in both varsity matches. So uh, looking for a little redemption tonight for the herd. And uh, the White Faces, if they win out, uh, I'll just say uh, can control their own fate by winning out and uh, get that final postseason berth from the district with a win here tonight and then Tuesday. Uh, that, uh, again, won't matter what else happens if uh, the herd does win both games. So. That's what we're hoping for, certainly a win here from Perryton this evening. Uh, peaceful drive up, uh, definitely felt like winter, and we are uh, looking to be in store for some winter weather this weekend. Uh, that uh, storm system approaching tomorrow afternoon has the possibility to uh, certainly produce many, many inches of snowfall across our area, the uh, far northwestern part of the Panhandle, and then uh, south central, uh, southeastern, uh, that does uh, the uh, graphics we've seen today have all included Hereford kind of on the western edge of that southern umbrella of heavy snowfall. So again, uh, some much needed precip is hopefully on the way to us. We'll go ahead and uh, send it back for a quick break back to the studios and be back to talk a little bit about the Rangers and the White Faces coming on into tonight's matchup. Uh, we are back in 60 seconds. Start here. AC. Go anywhere. Amarillo College is the place to prepare. AC. I wanted to be a nurse for years. Amarillo College helped me get there. I had a job lined up even before I graduated. With my degree from AC, I can go anywhere and do anything. Trust your future to a college that cares. AC. Go anywhere. Your business, farm or ranch and home is unique. And success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to Gooden Fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk, delivered to your above or below ground tank, serving the western Texas panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Gooden Fuels in Hereford at 806-364-3366. Call them today to discuss your fuel needs. Welcome back to uh, Ranger Gym here in Perryton tonight. I was one off. Perryton actually the uh, seventh seed in the district at the moment at three and nine. And the White Faces again, uh, sole possession of fourth, one game ahead of Pampa, six and six on the campaign. Uh, senior night taking place on Tuesday for the herd. Uh, that is going to be a different start time. So we'll mention that uh, just to uh, let you know, it is a six o'clock tip off on Tuesday. Uh, for that home finale, district finale, taking on Borger. And uh, hopefully uh, not the last game, though, as, again, uh, a couple wins would send the White Faces to the postseason. Hereford 6-6 uh, six and six in district play, 18-9 and nine overall. Fell to Canyon on Tuesday. Uh, Gosh, a, a huge win tonight, and another big win on Tuesday would be uh, just uh, really good for the herd heading into the postseason to get a couple of uh, big wins under their belt. Uh, the White Faces, of course, coached by Nick Brown, the uh, Rangers coached by Spencer Dutcher, 
It was a senior night here in Perryton. We will recognize uh, those Rangers that are finishing their uh, basketball career. Uh, Julian Cervantes and uh, Sammy Perez, just two seniors for the uh, Rangers here. Uh, but will be the uh, final time for them to take the court here in Perryton this evening. Coach Brown getting some last minute thoughts in uh, with the uh, referee. We will say, gosh, the JV game was very close. Herford losing by two, I think, 54, or it was 54 51, so maybe a bucket. Uh, but uh, came down to the wire. That's why we were a little late starting here. Uh, that was a uh, long, long five minutes at the end of the game. I got here with about five minutes to go in the fourth quarter, uh, and that ended up taking about 20. So a uh, close game for the JV. Uh, the White Faces, though, uh, again, uh, really need a win tonight. Um, that just would go in their favor, uh, both uh, momentum-wise, confidence-wise, and then most certainly uh, looking uh, into the uh, playoff picture-wise uh, would be a win for the Herd. Our seniors... Uh, Actually, we'll go through that as we go through our starting lineups here in a second. Uh, the uh, Herd going to be in black uniforms today, black bottoms, black tops. Perryton will be in uh, all whites uh, with some red trim. Uh, we uh, do know Adams here. I don't know if he's got enough service to make it work today, but uh, giving us a thumbs up. So it looks like uh, should be able to even get some video feed uh, all the way from this uh, three-hour drive away, a little less than three hours, is going to be a uh, late night for the fans and athletes and coaches and everyone heading back. But uh, we uh, thank you for joining us and tuning in in support of the Hereford White Faces today. We'll go ahead and send it back for one more break. We'll be back with our starting lineups and our uh, finishing thoughts before it's game time here in Perryton. We'll send it back for a minute 30 and be back... Uh, with the ball game here on KPA again. For generations, First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some, a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you tired of restless nights spent tossing and turning? You could be struggling with a sleep disorder. Hereford Regional Medical Center's sleep study can diagnose more than 80 different sleep disorders, helping you get a better night's sleep and better health. Ask your primary care provider about a sleep study with Hereford Regional Medical Center and learn more at dschd.org slash sleep. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products, including home, auto, business and farm insurance, with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure you're covered. Well, folks, uh, just really an incredible display of uh, solidarity across the district on the court right now. Uh, all the teams and coaches uh, and the respective maroon and red have Team Broadhurst shirts in honor of uh, Coach Ledley, Leslie Broadhurst of Randall. Uh, we uh, imagine that this is a district-wide uh, tonight. Um, I think a guy from the Perryton paper just got a picture. Man, that was really, really cool, really special to see here uh, in uh, Perryton this evening. Just laying with you tonight. Tom didn't have enough gas to make the trip. All the way up here, we'll let you uh, listen in to the uh, Star Spangled Banner here from Perryton this evening.
All right. I got a funny one for you here. Looking up at the uh, school song here for Perryton. How about this for the ending? Firm and undaunted always will be. Hail to the school we love. Here's a toast to the same tune and everything. It's uh, someone made a killing selling uh, high schools on a very personalized school song, and then you end up in the same district with the same song. So the uh, white faces being introduced right now, Ethan Gonzalez, Ty Duque, Diego Villegas, Brylan Lopez. And uh, Juan Bermudez taking the court for the white faces. They said uh, Juan was six foot four ish. That's probably about right. Uh, Juan, our uh, big guy down low. Uh, we'll see Marcos Acosta come in for him here and there. Uh, the rest of your white faces today include uh, Tristan Smith, Brandon Gonzalez, Dio San Miguel, Diego Ornelas, Nick Torres. Actually, I don't see uh, Diego Ornelas out with us tonight, so um, I don't believe he will be playing. So uh, Nick Torres and Marcos Acosta. Uh, finishing up your herd lineup today, of course, Coach Brown, Coach Gonzalez, Coach Bell, Coach Garza, his assistants uh, on the uh, Perryton side, Gordo Estrada, Julian Cervantes, Aiden Tarango. Cooper Schilling. And uh, Sammy Perez is going to be your starters for Perryton. That actually includes two freshmen, uh, Gordo Estrada and Cooper Schilling, both ninth graders for the Rangers and will be getting the start today. And, folks, we are ready for some 4-4-A basketball. Again, thanks for joining us for some white face action tonight. Wrestlers were in action in the first day of regionals today. Just got a quick report from Adam that uh, certainly had uh, some good showings. He, we hadn't heard results yet, so I don't know if those have come in. Uh, but if we do get any of those, we'll pass them along. Uh, finals for uh, that region meet is tomorrow, and then uh, winners there and uh, top finishers will head to state the following weekend down in Houston. <coughs> All right, Bermudez and uh, Perez will jump here at the center, bump knuckles, and we're ready to roll here from Perryton. Uh, tip goes Perryton's way, so... Uh, Tarango will bring it over to Estrada. Now Cervantes has it up top, guarded by Lopez. Estrada across to Schilling, back to Tarango. He puts up a three. Gonzalez on him, was contested. Uh, Perryton gets the rebound, and Tarango again for three and makes it. So Aiden with a quick three to get things going for Perryton here. Ty brings it back the other way for the white faces. Duque down the right side, gets it to Ethan Gonzalez. Up top pass to Lopez, almost intercepted, but Brylin keeps control of it. Back on the outside to tie there. Duque double teamed down the baseline and throws it away. Uh, trying for a little fancy pass there to Ethan Gonzalez and just missed him. So back Perryton's way. Just over seven minutes uh, to play here in this first. We've uh, played a minute so far. Lopez on Cervantes, gets it to Schilling, who's guarded by Villegas. Tarango, pump fakes from the, uh, from midcourt. Gets it to Schilling now on the far side. Cervantes shows a three. He's guarded by Villegas. White faces in a man defense, Duque. Perryton just slinging this ball around. Lots of quick passes. Perez from 12 feet misses. Lopez with the rebound. That's called a jump ball. It is going to go Herford's way. And uh, Ethan Gonzalez will throw it into Duque here below Perryton's bucket. 
Minute and a half gone. Perryton leads by three, three nothing here in this first quarter. Duque gets it to Ethan. Ethan to Viegas on the low wing here. Gonzalez dribbles in, back out to tie for three. Duque misses, but Viegas there with the rebound, puts it up and in. And Diego gets a nice bucket for the Whitefaces to get on the board, down by one now. Cervantes gonna go uncontested to the bucket. Man, and we can't let that happen. 5-2 now, Perryton leads by three again. Duque brings it back down the court for Hereford. 5.50 to go in this first quarter. Cross court pass to Viegas. Diego was looking for Brylin flashing inside. And uh, Perryton in the passing lane. They gotta have smarter passes today. White faces uh, in a full court press there. Cervantes brings it across half court for Perryton. He's guarded by Lopez. Cooper, uh, gosh, a little moving screen there. Perez gets the rebound, he puts it up from five feet, misses. Bermudez with the rebound. Now Ty back the other way for Herford. He gets it ahead to Viegas. Diego comes back up, Ty fakes a three, goes to the basket, and is just going to uh, throw it off the Perryton player. Good heads up move from Duque there. Acosta comes in, Bermudez comes out for the white faces. Juan will take a breather as Marcos goes in. Ethan throws it in to Duque for three from the far side. Ty just a little off there. And uh, that one off of Ethan, so will be Perryton's ball. Full court press from the White Faces. Duque getting a touch on that one, but it does stay with Perryton. Now throwing in from the far side baseline. That's going to be uh, Gordo Estrada, freshman, throwing it in. To Schilling, also a freshman. He's guarded by Duque. And Ty gets the takeaway from Schilling. Good pass to Lopez. Brylin from eight feet. Misses. Ethan with the rebound for Herford. Oh, man. He'll go to the line and shoot, too. That one, uh, first foul of the uh, day here. Five minutes, we've played three. That one on uh, number zero, Julian Cervantes for Perryton. Ethan Gonzalez will shoot two for Herford, makes his first. Five three has a chance to cut this lead to one. The second free throw from Gonzalez is up. No good, but uh, Viegas with the rebound, throws it back in, Perryton keeps it. Cervantes back the other way and gets the layup. Man, Julian Cervantes, a couple good moves in the white faces now trailing by four, seven three. Duque to Viegas, Viegas double teamed but gets it to Lopez, wow, Viegas for three makes it. That was absolutely pretty, a pretty behind the back from Ty just to save it. And the white face is now down by one, 7-6. Cervantes has it, loses control, but keeps it. Uh, Estrada on the far side, guarded by Duque. He gets it to Tarango for three. That's a 23-footer, misses. Ethan with the rebound back the other way for the white faces. Gonzalez pulls up, gets it to Acosta. And Marcos is called for the charge. Team first for the White Faces. Coach Brown unhappy with that decision from the guys. We have not made our possessions count, folks. Ty on uh, Cervantes back the other way. Tarango makes a drive down the baseline. He gets it into Cervantes, who puts it up from the paint and makes it. Julian having himself a quarter, six points so far here in the first. Just over halfway through. Lopez to Gonzalez, to Viegas. Diego on the near wing here, back up to Ty. Ethan makes a move on the baseline, throws it away. Perryton back the other way, Cervantes all the way to the bucket, puts it up and in, that's his eighth. Coach Brown, much needed timeout here. The white faces have got to find something and get it done over the Rangers today. We'll take a 30-second uh, break with Coach Brown and be back with Whiteface ba Basketball right here on KPAN. First Financial Bank knows how important a person's vehicle can be. My SUV is perfect for taking clients to properties and me to the golf course. My pickup hauls work supplies all week and the family on weekends. My hybrid helps the environment and my fuel bill. 
If you're ready for a new vehicle, talk to First Financial. We offer loans at competitive rates with fast local approval. My 4x4 works hard, but plays even harder. First Financial Bank. You first. Member FDIC. Back here in Perryton, White faces trail by five to the Rangers. 334 left to play in this first period. Gonzalez throws it in for Herford. Brylan Lopez will bring it down the other way for the White faces. Gets it to Acosta on the far side. Ty back at midcourt with it. And uh, Brylan trying to pass inside. We do. Man, Ethan Gonzalez really doing a great job fighting for that one and actually draws the foul. Uh, that's going to be on Sammy Perez and will be Perryton second. And Ethan will go to the line for the second time tonight and shoot two. The first one from Ethan makes it. 11-7 now. Herford trailing by four. Lopez, a quick word with Coach Brown. Second shot from Ethan Gonzalez is away and in. Made them both. 11-8 now. Herford trails by three. Cervantes has it, guarded by Duque. Ty with the full court press. Not a double team. Just a, a man press here. And uh, Duque going to be called with the foul there. A block on Ty. His first, team second. So uh, no real foul trouble yet for either squad, which we like, especially this far into the first. Cervantes throws it into freshman Schilling. He's guarded by junior Brylan Lopez for the white faces. Back to Cervantes, who's guarded by Duque. They get it across half court here. Perryton still with their original five in. Cervantes to the hoop. Acosta there. Oh, man, Marco standing straight up. Gets called for the foul there. And uh, Marco's called for his second. Cervantes will go to the line and shoot two. I don't know about that one. Cervantes, first one's up and in. 12-8. Bermudez back in. Brandon Gonzalez in. Acosta and Villegas out for the white faces. Again, Herford trails by four. Cervantes shoots his second, makes it. Perryton up 13-8 on the white faces. Brandon Gonzalez brings it down for Herford, dumps it to Lopez, Brylan inside to Duque. Tie back outside to Brandon for three. He makes it. Brandon with a really pretty shot there. And uh, it's 13-11. Cervantes has it. Perez outside here to Estrada, cross court pass to Tarango. Cervantes takes a 25-footer, misses. And Duque steals the rebound from Schilling. Ty back the other way, reaching in and foul, but Ty gets it to Ethan. Ethan pulls up from 13 feet and makes it. Good jumper from Gonzalez. We're tied at 13. Perryton gets it ahead to Tarango. Tarango has it, guarded by Gonzalez. Cervantes now to Estrada. Tarango. Estrada is going to take a three. He misses, and Gonzalez gets the rebound. Ethan for Herford. Back the other way are the white faces. Again, now tied at 13 with a minute 50. Ty takes a three. He misses. Schilling with the rebound for Perryton. Rangers are back the other way. Again, uh, Schilling a freshman. Cervantes from nine feet misses. White faces get the rebound. And coach calling for... Uh, Herford to slow down here. Let's make this possession count. Duque brings it across. Pass to Lopez, who's guarded by Estrada. Brylan makes a move on him. Back outside to Brandon. Lopez to Bermudez down low. They get Gonzalez. They got a charge on Brandon there. Fourth foul for Herford. We're going to see a couple subs here. A Duque out, Tristan Smith in, and uh, Keaton Daughtry in for Perryton, and Gordo Estrada out. Cervantes guarded by Brandon Gonzalez. A minute 10 to go here in quarter number one. Schilling has it up top, gets it to Daughtry. 
Cervantes on the near side, guarded by Brandon Gonzalez. Tarongo from way downtown, and he does make that one. That's his second deep three. 16-13 with 52 to play in this first quarter. Bermudez on the low side. Ethan pump fakes a three, gets it into Smith. And Tarongo is going to be called for the reach there. Aiden Tarongo. That is uh, Perryton's third now here in period number one. Gordo Estrada will come back in for Tarongo. Tarongo, uh, just with his first foul, will come out for a breather. Gonzalez inbounds to Brandon Gonzalez, who feeds it into Bermudez. And Juan puts it up in the paint, has some contact, and they let it go. And uh, Estrada back the other way for the easy bucket. Herford trailing by five. Lopez double teamed. Gets the pass off to Gonzalez. Bermudez down low. Thought he was going to give us a three. Ethan has it now on the near side wing. Back up to Brandon. Brandon to Brylin. Brylin with 15 seconds to go. Gets it to Smith. Bermudez has it now down low. Off of Perryton will stay Herford's ball beneath our own basket. Uh, Perryton's going to get a quick sub here. Avon Garcia will come in for... Uh, Schilling, <laughs> I don't think they knew. Ethan Gonzalez throws it in. 12 seconds to go in this first quarter. Tristan Smith has it. Oh, throws it away. Perry, great, there we go. Brandon fighting for a ball. And uh, Perryton's Gordo Estrada gonna be called for the foul. Fourth foul for Perryton. I don't think we'll see any double bonus here in this first period. Duque back in for Herford. Brylan Lopez comes out for a breather. The white faces, a, a three here would be huge. Six seconds to play. Ty brings it down, gives it to Brandon. Brandon. We don't even get a shot off, y'all. This is just a little too familiar playing the Rangers tonight, and we have got to find a spark. 18-13, Perryton leads by five. We're back in 60 seconds with quarter number two right here on KPAN. Needing extra income? Looking for a full-time job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. Herford ISD, we are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Herford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Herford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! Back here, quarter number two underway. Perryton leads by five, 18-13. Schilling has it for the Rangers. Tarango now on the top, gets it to Cervantes, guarded by Brylin Lopez. Cervantes takes a 22-footer. He's short. Duque gets the rebound for Herford, and Ty will bring it back the other way for the White Faces. Brylin down low to Brandon Gonzalez on the far side. Back up to Duque, a cross-court pass to Bermudez for three. Juan misses, but man, Brandon Gonzalez with the rebound for Herford. A great fight by Brandon. Ty, uh, Ty was uh, making a move to the lane and didn't have anyone to pass it to. Perryton gets it on the turnover. Long ball from Cervantes to Schilling. Lopez intercepts it. And uh, gosh, we have just, we can't take care of the ball tonight. That's Sammy Perez, first points of the second quarter, 2013. Lopez to Brandon, Brandon to Ty. Ty fakes a three. Brandon gets it into Bermudez. That was all Juan, really. And that one's going to go on Perez. Sammy's second. It's team first here in the second quarter. Oh, man. We just. 
really had some unintentional passes tonight. Bermudez goes to the line. First one is up and in. Juan's first point of the uh, evening. Makes it 2014. Second one up from Juan and away. Made them both. All right, Bermudez has cut our lead to five here. Cervantes quickly back the other way for Perryton. Tarango takes a three from down low, misses. Bermudez with the rebound off to Duque. Ty back the other way. Coach Brown giving him some instructions and Ty through tons of traffic goes all the way to the rim. <laughs> Absolutely NBA-ish. Puts it up and in 2017. Herford down by three. Cervantes throws it away and it's back Herford's way. These are a few breaks that we needed to get back in, the, in this thing. Now we've got a score on this possession here. Herford trailing by three, just about two minutes gone. Ethan to Ty on the far side. Ty has it around the perimeter. And uh, that one off of Perryton will stay Herford's ball down low. Ethan will throw it in for the white faces. Duque, Lopez, Brandon Gonzalez, and Bermudez all in for Herford. Brandon takes one from eight feet and makes it. Brandon's fifth points of the night, and Herford trailing by one. Cervantes will be guarded by Ethan Gonzalez the whole way. Tarongo has it with Duque on him. They get it to Schilling. Schilling, uh, Cervantes from the top of the arc. He makes it. 23-19, Herford again trailing by four. We uh, need some defense and offensive answers. Bermudez has it on the blocks. Brylan Lopez for three, misses. Duque fighting for, oh, I thought, thought we were gonna call it Herford's way. I really think it is, but it's gonna go Perryton's way. The Cervantes will throw in for the Rangers. We're gonna have a full court, full four court, full court press now. Cervantes through Ethan. He loses it, but does get it to Tarango. Gordo Estrada for three. Missed it completely. Herford's ball underneath Perryton's basket. Ethan will throw it in for the white faces. Ty looking for a play from Coach Brown. Duque has it for the white faces. Five minutes to go here in this first half. Brandon has it up top now for Herford. Gonzalez to Lopez to Duque. And Ty's going to draw the foul on Gordo Estrada. That's going to be his second, team second here in quarter number two. And uh, we'll get a sideline throw in. Brylin will throw it in for Herford. Gets it to Gonzalez. Ty's open here on the far side wing. That's what we're going to, we're trying to get that three ball open. Ty dribbling through a lot of traffic. Puts up a 12 footer, misses. Perez gets the rebound for Perryton. Cervantes back the other way for the Rangers. The uh, senior feeds it back out to Tarango, misses the three. Bermudez with a good rebound, huge rebound for the White Faces and gets it ahead to Lopez. Brylin to Duque, tie to the rim. Missed it. Cerv lots of traffic. Cervantes back the other way for Perryton. He loses control. Bermudez gets it ahead. It's Duque with an open bucket and puts it in. Ty gets his fourth. Herford back within two. 23-21, Cervantes has it for Perryton. Tarango for three for the Rangers. Missed it. Perez gets the rebound, but Duque steals it from him and tie back the other way now for the white faces. And Perez is going to be uh, called on the reach here. And that is his third. And uh, Perryton coach unhappy with that. And I mean, y'all probably heard the thump on the air. It, there's no other call that is made there. Viegas will come in. Nick Torres will come in for Herford. Uh, Ethan and Ty come out for a breather. Brylin has it for the white faces, 4.01 to go. Herford trails by two. Looking for our first lead of the night. Lopez, far side wing, swings it back to Brandon Gonzalez, Viegas to Torres, Brylin to Bermudez, back out to Nick. Nick finds Viegas, open for three. Diego makes it from deep. Herford leads this one 24-23. And uh, Coach Dutcher wants a full timeout. 
We'll take one with him as the White Faces lead 24-23 for the first time tonight. We're back in 30 seconds right here on KPA Yen. The community of Hereford continues to be committed to the Hereford White Faces, just as Happy State Bank is committed to our customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Hereford White Faces, starting a business, or planning for the future, Happy State Bank is here for all your life's moments. Let us be your partner at Happy State Bank. Visit us in person or at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FD. Welcome back to Perryton. As the White Faces have taken their first lead of the night, 24-23. Going to try to cover all herd happenings. Uh, Sofia Enriquez, Shawnee Goli, Moses Oviedo, and Kaylina Ramirez competed in the first round of the uh, Air Rifle Service Champions Championships in Utah today. Some uh, MCJROTC uh, I guess cadets representing Hereford uh, over in Utah. Uh, awesome job for them to get that far even. Cervantes brings it back and is double teamed by the White Faces. Perryton gonna have to get this one across half court. They do. Cervantes to Tarango on the near side wing. Back up to the Perryton senior. He's guarded by the White Face senior, Brandon Gonzalez. Cervantes has it, makes a move on Brandon, pulls up at the perimeter. Gives it to Schilling. Schilling back out to Tarango. Cervantes takes a three, it's off. But Perryton gets the rebound. Schilling takes a three now. Misses. Herford with the rebound. Torres ahead to Lopez. Brylin takes it all the way. He's fouled and gets the bucket. So Brylin will go to the line and try for Takes it all the way. He's fouled and gets the bucket. So Brylin looked effortless from the Whiteface Junior. 2.53 to go, Hereford leads 26-23. Duque comes in for Brandon Gonzalez. Brandon, uh, and Brandon's sweating. He's been in for a while here. Viegas getting uh, some last minute thoughts from Coach Brown. Brylin puts up his free throw, misses. And Perryton back the other way. Hereford still with a three point lead. Cervantes to Schilling, Schilling to Tarango, Tarango to Castanon. Castanon back to Tarango, who's now picked up by Lopez. Cervantes has it, picked up by Duque. Screen set on tie. And uh, Nick Torres draws the charge. That one's gonna go on um, Avon Garcia, and it's Perryton's fourth. Actually, they've got it as their fifth. So Herford will go to the line and shoot. I thought that was just uh, four, but it is number five, so. Oh, it's only four, okay. That's, I thought that. Uh, we're not gonna shoot there. Our Coach Brown saying it was only a team four. Bermudez to Duque, that one's stolen. And back the other way from Perryton, Tarango to Cervantes, makes a move down low and puts it up and in for the easy layup. 26-25, Herford up by one, 2.02 to go. Duque across half court for the White Faces. Tie down low to Viegas. Viegas to Bermudez, who puts up the oop. Misses one, probably could have came back down with that one and then, and then put it back up. That's what Coach Brown's saying. Cervantes throws it away. And, uh, oh man, called off of Herford. And it's gonna be Perryton's ball, wow. Tarango will throw in for the Rangers to Cervantes. Tarango, Duque with, man, Ty, just a fierce defense. Oh, and Ty throws it away. He had the steal. Schilling back the other way for the Rangers. And again, Torres draws the charge. And uh, Schilling will pick up his first, and it's a team fifth. The White Faces now will go to the line and shoot two. Incredible defense uh, from uh, Torres there. Hey, we're, oh, it was a, uh, a charge foul, so not shooting. That's, I gotta get all this right. I'm still, we're still in the new rule season. Duque has it in to Torres, Viegas for three, Diego. Ah, in and out, he was robbed on that one. Tarango back the other way for Perryton. 1.15 to go here in half number one. 
Lopez to Schilling. My apologies, Lopez on Schilling. Oh, they're gonna get Brylin with the foul. They've just never seen anyone jump that high. Brylin gets his first here. And a team first in quarter number two. The White Faces have really played some clean D. Herford leads by one. Cervantes inbounds to Estrada. Schilling has it on the far side wing. Back to Estrada. Gordo takes a three. 22 feet. Misses. Lopez with the rebound for Herford. We've got 55 to play here in half number one. Duque is going to go all the way. And he does. And he's fouled. So Ty will go to the line and shoot two. That one on Schilling. That's his second. Already uh, five here in quarter number two. So Ty, although that was a shooting foul, Ty will go to the line and shoot two. Acosta will come in for Bermudez likely. Duque's first one's up, missed it. Ty was in and out on that one. Marcos in for the white faces. Juan comes out for a breather. Duque with his second. Puts it up and in. So Ty makes one there. 27-25, Herford up by two. Cervantes has it with 45 to go. He's guarded by Viegas all the way. Pulls up from 16 feet, misses. Torres with the rebound off to Duque. Ty back the other way with 35 to go here in quarter number two. Herford again leads by two. Viegas into Torres. Nick from 14 feet. That's his spot. That is his spot. 29-25. Herford up by four. Estrada has it for Perryton. Gosh, they almost got a back court there. Tarango to Daughtry. He's guarded by Duque. And that one will stay uh, with Perryton as Ty got the tip on that one. Ethan Gonzalez will come in for uh, Duque for the White Faces. Just with a few seconds here in the second period remaining. Brylin will guard Cervantes throwing it in. Inbounds to Tarango from 25 feet. Man. Wow. He made it. 29-28, five seconds. Ethan to Viegas. Back outside, Torres for three. He makes it. Nick with the buzzer beater. Right here at half, Nick puts us up 32-28. A huge three-pointer from Torres to uh, put the white faces uh, up by four going into halftime. Well. We certainly uh, looked a lot worse than we did there at the end of the second quarter. The White Faces have come from behind to take a four-point lead after half number one over the Perryton Rangers. Again, a win tonight and a win Tuesday. Uh, a win tonight basically guarantees no less than a tie in fourth, um, which, I've, which would be broken in our way over Pampa. Uh, but a, a win tonight and Tuesday uh, gives the White Faces sole possession. So need to keep this momentum into the second half. Uh, the White Faces uh, certainly put up a good second quarter there. We will wrap up some stats here for you, get some totals, and be back in two minutes with some first half stats right here on KPA again. Did you know Stevens Five Star will deliver your next Chevy or GMC? Wyatt from Amarillo says Romeo drove his new GMC pickup to him in Amarillo so they didn't have to make an extra trip. That's five star service all around. For your next Chevy or GMC, stop by Stevens Five Star in Hereford. Call them or visit them online at StevensFiveStar.com. You get five star treatment every day. Stevens Five Star Car and Truck Center. Whatever your type of home, experience a new level of home comfort with a new Bryant Evolution system. When installed with the Evolution Connects Control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air at 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. 
As the new year unfolds, new projects are born. If you are interested or have any questions regarding a consumer or commercial loan, First National Bank of Hereford can assist you. You will be working with Hereford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online consumer application or visit any of our locations to apply for your personal or business needs. First National Bank of Hereford, we have roots where others have branches. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance has protected fellow Texans with auto, home, health, and life insurance since 1952. With more than 260,000 square miles of land and 27 million people, that's a lot to cover. Whether you're wrangling cattle or wrangling kids, we're proud to protect Texans. Uh, maybe even more so uh, covering up some of those three attempts and some other players. Um, Cervantes finds ways to get open anyway, so you kind of just uh, take that as it is. Again, though, uh, White Faces lead by four here in Perryton on senior night for the Rangers. Their uh, final time here on the home floor for uh, Julian Cervantes and Sammy Perez, the two seniors for the uh, Rangers will be doing a similar bittersweet event on Tuesday back in Hereford. Uh, we'll again mention Tuesday's game is gonna be a six o'clock start time for the White Faces. Uh, varsity moved up a little bit and then uh, and then we should be looking at by district. Those by district rounds will take place on, um, they're set for the 19th and 20th. I'm gonna imagine, I'm going to imagine we're gonna do whatever we can to get to play Tuesday night instead of on the Monday holiday. Uh, one more uh, bit of some Heard news, we'll give a shout out to Annika McNeely. Annika traveled down to San Antonio this week to compete in the All-State Band. That is literally the highest honor you can get. I think she was actually first chair on horn. Uh, so congrats to Annika, a uh, huge honor for her. I, if I remember right, this is her third year to compete at the uh, All-State Band. And again, uh, it is a very, very tough competition, very tough music, and that is a huge deal for her and for uh, for Herford, for Miss Henson and, and the Mighty Maroon, uh, having the uh, representation down in San Antonio. The Rangers back on the court to stay loose, keep their warm-ups going. Coach Brown, Coach Bell, Coach Garza, Coach Gonzalez still in the locker room with the White Faces. Uh, with some final thoughts to wrap this thing up tonight. Man, a, a win here would just be huge. It would, I don't think we'll have any trouble, but it would also take a little pressure off on Tuesday for the guys uh, to uh, maybe work on some in-game techniques. Anyway, 32-28, Herford up by four after one half. We're back in two minutes with your half number two right here on KPAN. Wouldn't you love more quality family time? But everyone has their noses in their phones and tablets. With Experience IQ from WTRT and WT Services, you can enjoy screen-free family time. Pause all internet-connected devices to enjoy a board game or a family dinner at the dinner table. By adding Experience IQ to your WT Smart Home app, you can enjoy more family time. Download the WT Smart Home app in app stores today. Did you know prepaid plans are transferable? If you purchased a prepaid funeral plan through another funeral home, you are not in any way obligated to use that funeral home in your time of need. The Texas Department of Banking and the Texas Department of Insurance allow individuals to change funeral homes and use a funeral home of their choice. Allow Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home and our licensed funeral directors to explain the easy process of transferring your funeral plan. Herford's only family-owned and operated funeral home. Our family serving your family. Herd athletes work tirelessly on the fundamentals of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Herford, Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. 
Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind in knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd. Hey you, yeah you, you should be watching or listening to the game in style with a new sectional, sofa, love seat, and or recliner from Hereford Furniture Exchange. Check out the huge selection of new brand name furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Hereford Furniture Exchange. 209 East Park Avenue in Hereford, open seven days a week. Financing options available with no credit needed and an initial payment as low as $10. Merchandise in stock, buy today, take home today. All right, folks, the familiar fight song being played here in Perryton. Uh, we'll also mention uh, Whiteface Baseball in a scrimmage today. Saw a post from Coach Naren uh, taking on the uh, Sandys at Amarillo High. And we are in diamond season, believe it or not. Uh, still, uh, I think we're still about a month out from district. I think district starts kind of middle of March. Uh, but uh, it's basketball tonight. Second half of play underway. Duque has it. Going back to our right now are the white faces. Uh, Lopez hangs on to a uh, tipped pass. Brylin through the double team. Gets it to Duque. Ty dribbles around the perimeter. Picks up his dribble. Needs some help. Ethan Gonzalez has it now at midcourt. Over to Lopez. Back to Ethan from eight feet. Misses. Pettis gets a rebound for Perry Tennant. And the Rangers are back the other way. Freshman Schilling has it to Cervantes. Herford leading by four, 32-28. Really a must win tonight. We need to win out. Cervantes has it on the block, guarded by Viegas. He puts it up and in. And it's 32-30. Duque brings it back the other way. No pressure from Perryton. Tie to Brylin. Brylin double teamed. Lopez back out to Viegas. Diego guarded by Tarango from Perryton. Duque on the free throw line. Oh, and Ty, Ty trying to cross court pass there to Gonzalez and just a little long for Ethan. Surprised a fan over on Perryton's side. Ethan's going to guard Cervantes all the way. Under seven to go now in quarter number three. Brian Hedrick here taking some picks. Cervantes has it on the far side baseline. He falls down and gets back up. Tarango now up top on the arc. They get it to... Perez to back to Aiden. Now up top to Cervantes. 6.30 to play here in quarter number three. Gonzalez looking for the screen from Perez. Cervantes gets it to Tarango. A double screen from Perryton. Cervantes takes one from 22 feet and makes it. And Perryton back in the lead, 33-32. Duque. Brings it across half court for Hereford. Gets it to Ethan on the far side. Back to Brylin here up top. Lopez at midcourt. Gets it to Ty. Ty to Viegas down on the baseline. Back to Duque. Duque dribbles into the paint. Swings it out to Lopez to Ethan. Brylin for three. It looks good. It's in. Hereford back up by two. 35-33. Cervantes quickly down. Gets it to Estrada for three. And Gordo makes it. Man. Perryton has found something. 36-35, back up by one. 5.30 to go here in quarter number three. Duque has it for Hereford. Picks up his dribble. Gets it to Brylin on the near side, down to Bermudez. Juan back up to Lopez. Lopez to Gonzalez is going to be a backcourt violation. And Perryton gets it on a turnover. On a technical turnover. Schilling will throw it in for the Rangers to Cervantes. To Estrada, who's guarded by Duque. To Schilling. To Tarango. They get it to Cervantes. Oh, and Duque. What? Oh, they're going to call a foul on Ty there. Man. I was thinking that was a, a jump ball. <laughs> Let's see more physical jump balls. Cervantes will throw it in. He does to Perez. Gets it back to Cervantes. Perryton leads by one, 36-35. Estrada for three again. Man. 
Perryton with three threes here with just three minutes gone here in quarter number three. Lopez for three. Bryland misses. Perryton with the rebound. Cervantes back the other way for the Rangers. He gets it to Tarango for three, who makes it. Y'all, this is ugly. 42-35, Perryton has pulled away with a seven-point lead. Four three-pointers here. We're not even halfway through the third period. We'll be back in 60 seconds right here with Whiteface Basketball on KPAN. When the unthinkable happens, good neighbors show up. For 100 years, State Farm has been among the first to arrive with the latest technology and tools to help you recover faster. State Farm has been there before, and they'll be there again and again. Stop by and see your local State Farm insurance agent, Matt Silva, at 801 Main Street in Hereford. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Well, there's nothing like the sound of a new baby cap or the smell of fresh rain on a cotton crop. My friends at Capital Farm Credit share this excitement with agricultural and livestock producers. We want to be your lending partner. Whether you require operating funds for next year's crop or need to buy hay for your cattle, we have a loan that's right for you. Let us finance your operation. CapitalFarmCredit.com Duque, Lopez, Ethan Gonzalez, Diego Villegas, and Juan Bermudez. Starting five out for the White Faces, 4.35 to go. And again, Perryton has just absolutely caught fire. Four threes made in this third period. Bermudez has it down low on the baseline. Juan back out to Duque. Ty guarded by Estrada. Ty takes it all the way in and is fouled, misses. Bermudez gets the rebound, though, and puts it in for Herford. And it is 42-37. Cervantes back the other way for Perryton. Schilling takes a three. Cervantes gets a rebound and puts it up and in. And Herford uh, trails by seven now. 37-44. Lopez has it on this near side wing. Across court to Duque. Ty fakes a three. Gets it back out to Viegas. Back to Ty from 23 feet. Makes it good shot from Duque there. And the uh, white faces now back within four. Cervantes has it guarded by uh, Villegas. 3.30 to go here in the third period. Ty. Man, Ty called for a reach there, and that's his third. And he'll come out. Brandon Gonzalez goes in for the white faces. And uh, that is uh, Herford second here in period number three. Schilling throws in to Herford. Viegas back the other way for the White Faces. And uh, bodied by Perez, but nothing. Gets it to Brandon Gonzalez, puts up a three, but misses. Perez with the rebound to Schilling. Perryton back the other way, up by four. 3.15 to go. Estrada for three, deep corner, misses. And Brandon Gonzalez gets the rebound for the White Faces. Ahead to Ethan. Ethan to Brylin. Brylin goes up, draws the foul, and will go to the line and shoot two. That one on Schilling. And that's going to be his third. Team first. Lopez will go to the line and shoot two here. Ryland's first one's up and off the back of the rim and out. Herford still trailing by four. Ryland back to the line here. Second one up and away. Missed them both. Viegas with the rebound for the white faces, though. Oh, man, and a, oh, we're going to get Ryland on a reach. Third for Herford in quarter number three. That's Ryland's second. So uh, not really in foul trouble yet. Torres will come in at the next whistle. Perryton inbounds to Estrada. Lopez on him still. Estrada's a freshman. Through a double team, gets it to Cervantes. He's back out to Estrada, drives the baseline. And uh, man, that hit Juan and then went back off of Estrada, but they're going to call it off of Herford. So we'll stay with Perryton. 
Cervantes throws it in to Perez. Perez back to Cervantes, guarded by Brandon Gonzalez. He puts one up from 15 feet. <laughs> Misses. He does draw a foul on Brandon, though. Brandon, <laughs> he has no idea. Uh, Cervantes will go to the line and shoot two here. It's Herford's fourth. In this third period, it's Brandon's second on the night. Uh, Cervantes' first free throws up and in. That's his 23rd point tonight, y'all, on senior night. Might be going for a gym record. 45-40, Perryton leads by five. We have got to get some points on the board. Cervantes makes them both. And Herford trails by six. Ethan brings it back the other way for the White Faces to Torres. Nick has it inside to Viegas, Bermudez, Torres for three. Nick makes it. And a great, pretty ball from Nick there. That's his second three on the night. 46-43. Cervantes is guarded by Torres now. Cervantes to Schilling. Schilling drives the baseline. Passes inside. Oh, man. And they call Ethan with a Gosh. He can't believe it. Coach Brown can't believe it. The fans can't believe it. It was all ball. But Ethan gets the, his first personal, and it's a team fifth. That was uh, on the shot anyway. But Garcia will go to the line and shoot two for Perryton. Misses the first. Herford trailing by three with 2-11 here in period number three. Garcia puts up his second, makes it. Back to four now, 47-43. Brandon Gonzalez has it for the white faces to Viegas, down low to Bermudez. Viegas coming in, flashing in, gets it and gets the bucket. Man, that was a great play from Diego there. 47-45, Cervantes has it guarded by Ethan Gonzalez of the white faces. He's across half court. Ethan's still on him though. They get it to Estrada outside. Estrada dribbles around and dumps it to Perez. Garcia inside, puts it up and misses. And uh, Torres is going to get the uh, mishandled rebound by Bermudez. One to Brandon. Brandon to Nick. Nick has it back to Gonzalez. Brandon from 23 feet misses. Viegas gets the rebound for the white faces, though. Turns around and puts it up and in. Diego, good move down low, and we're tied again at 47. Cervantes back the other way for Perryton. Screen set. Ethan read it nicely. Estrada has it. Back to Cervantes. Julian dribbles, gives it to Gordo. Estrada to Perez. Back to Cervantes, who's on the arc. Makes a move. Dumps it off. Man, some good passing from Perryton. Schilling down low, drives the baseline. Cervantes open for three, makes it. Wow. Uh, it really might be a gym record for him tonight. I don't know what it is, but we're almost to 30 here in the third quarter. 35 seconds to play. Herford throws it away. Perryton back the other way with a three-point lead, and they make it five. Estrada with the easy bucket there. It's 52-47, 20 seconds to go. Herford needs a three. We need to be fouled on a three. In all honesty, Torres has it up top. Nick across court to Ethan. Ethan dribbles in some traffic and will draw a foul there. Uh, that one's going to be on uh, Cervantes, his second, team third here in quarter number three. Nine seconds to go. Schilling comes out as uh, Castanon comes in. Herford again trails by five. We need a bucket here in this third period. Inbounds to Viegas. We lose it. Perryton back the other way. It's a three on one. Castanon steps out, though. So, man, we, ca we caught a break there. Duque comes in. And uh, Brandon will come out. And we're going to try for a long three here. Three seconds to play. And uh, it's intercepted by Perryton. They put up a three and make it. Estrada with his third three of the third period. And folks, I mean, you just, you can't let that many three-pointers happen. 
Hereford trails by eight, 47 to 55. And Perryton has just absolutely turned it on. We're back in 60 seconds with quarter number four right here on KPA again. Start here, AC. Go anywhere. Amarillo College is the place to prepare. AC. After serving my country in the military and about with colon cancer, I got a new start right here at Amarillo College. Great programs, great faculty. Start here, go anywhere. Trust your future to a college that cares. Start here, AC. Go anywhere. Your business, farm, or ranch and home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to Gooden Fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk, delivered to your above or below ground tank, serving the Western Texas Panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Gooden Fuels in Hereford at 806-364-3366. Call them today to discuss your fuel needs. Well, Perryton with a 27-point third period. Julian Cervantes with 27 points so far on the night. They inbounds. Hereford trails by eight. Tarango has it, gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes guarded by Torres. Picks up his dribble, gives it back to Tarango, who makes a move all the way in, and Torres is going to be called for a foul there. Coach Brown wants an explanation on that because it wasn't one. But Nick gets his first on the night, team first in this fourth period. And uh, we have, we've have we got to find a way to get a win here. Ethan gets the steal from Cervantes. Gonzalez is going to come all the way. Loses it, but oh, he loses it. Perryton gets it. And Perryton calls a time, and it's going to be the Rangers' ball. 7.33 to go. Herford trails 47.55. We're back in 30 seconds with White Pace Basketball right here on KPA again. For generations, First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some, a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest, moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, back here at uh, Ranger Gym. Perryton will throw in below Hereford's basket. 7.30 to go in this ball game. Hereford trails by eight. Double team on Cervantes. He gets it to Tarango. They get it ahead. Oh, and... Perryton misses the layup, but Pettis there for the rebound. He misses. Ethan gets it now to Duque. Tie back the other way. Two missed buckets from the Rangers, and that's something we've got to take advantage of. Duque all the way, draws the foul. We'll go to the line and shoot two. That one's going to be on Avon Garcia, his second, team first. And Ty, who has eight on the night, has a chance to get into double digits here with these two free throws. Hedrick's raining pennies down on me from up there. Duque makes his first. How's wrestling? Thanks, Brian. Duque made that first one. It is 55-48. Uh, Second one up and away from Ty makes them both. So Duque now with 10 on the night and cuts the lead for the white face is 2-6. Cervantes guarded by Lopez. Brylin all the way on him. Just over seven minutes to go now. Tarango has it up top, guarded by Brandon Gonzalez. Dribbles around, gives it back to Cervantes. Brandon on him now. Marcos aids. Tarango brings it back around the arc. Aiden guarded by Brandon. Gives it to Cervantes. Brandon on him now. The screen. Good D from the white faces, but Tarango open for three. And you knew what was coming. 58-49. Herford down by nine. 
Duque has it up top, gets it to Lopez. Lopez to Brandon, to Acosta down low. Back up top to Viegas, now tie, far side three. Duque misses, Cervantes gets the rebound. And Brandon Gonzalez will be with him the whole way. 6-10 to go here. Hereford trails by nine. Cross court pass to Tarango, Duque on him. Estrada has it now, guarded by Viegas. Tarango, pump fakes a 27 footer. Dribbles in, just throws up a prayer. Acosta with the uh, rebound for Hereford. And Brandon comes back the other way. Brylin to Viegas for three. Diego from down low. Oh, and he misses. Duque there trying to get the rebound, but Garcia has it for Perryton. And Tarango's going to be back the other way. It's a full court press from the White Faces now. Perryton gets it through. Tarango guarded by Brandon. In, in down low to Garcia, back outside to Cervantes. Viegas on him. Lopez looking for the pass coming his way. And uh, Perez loses it. After he gets away with a moving screen, you can hear, I could hear Coach Brown yelling. Uh, but certainly was. Acosta will come out, and Ethan Gonzalez goes back in for the White Faces. A uh, shooter heavy rotation, a shooter heavy five for Coach Brown at the moment. Duque to Lopez, inside to Ty. Ty, lots of contact, but hangs on to it. And uh, Coach Brown can't believe a jump ball is called, but it is, and it will be Herford's ball. Brylin will throw in on the sideline in front of the white face bench. 5.09 to go. Duque has it up top, gets it back to Lopez. Lopez down low to Ethan. Ethan to Brandon. Viegas for the easy two, he makes it. Herford back within seven. This is still very uh, much anyone's ball game, but we've got to get a stop on these three-point shots. Tarango is guarded by Lopez. He gets it back to Cervantes. And, oh, we're going to get a foul on Ethan Gonzalez down in the paint. Ethan saying, man, he's holding my jersey the whole time. But second foul for Herford here in quarter number four, second for Gonzalez on the night. Estrada will throw in for Perryton, gets it into Perez, who puts it up and in. Sixty, fifty-one. Brandon to Ethan. Ethan pulls up from 18 feet. Misses. Herford gets the rebound, though. Duque for three. Robbed. Viegas with the rebound. And uh, he's going to get a, uh, he's going to draw the foul on Cervantes there. And that is Cervantes' third. Perryton second here in quarter number four. Ethan will throw it in below Herford's basket. Duque open for three here. And Ty is fouled on the shot and will go to the line and shoot two. That on Garcia, that's going to be his third. All right, cool. Got some good wrestling news for you. Mia Alonzo, Myra Villarreal. Maritza Maceda, Azari Martinez all already punched their tickets through to tomorrow to the semis and still alive uh, wrestling uh, trying to make it to the semis. Valerie Porter, uh, Javier Mendoza, and uh, gosh, Eli, I'll have to get his last name, uh, but a good showing from Whiteface Wrestling today. Ty made his first of two free throws. That was a shooting foul, puts the second one up and in. Herford now trails by seven, 53-60 with 4.16 to play. We'll go ahead and take a 30-second break and be back with uh, some more fourth quarter action right here on KPAN. Are you tired of restless nights spent tossing and turning? You could be struggling with a sleep disorder. Hereford Regional Medical Center's sleep study can diagnose more than 80 different sleep disorders helping you get a better night's sleep and better health. Ask your primary care provider about a sleep study with Hereford Regional Medical Center and learn more at dschd.org slash sleep. Eli Arredondo, who I was looking for. Uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Hedrick for getting some results for me. 
Uh, him and Adam were actually at the uh, wrestling meet over in Canyon earlier today and then continued their round the panhandle tour up here to Perryton. Uh, but a good showing for uh, the white faces and singlets today. And again, they're going to continue wrestling tomorrow uh, in the finals for uh, the Region 1 meet. Uh, that is for a ticket to state down to Houston. Uh, just outside of Houston, actually, but that's where the state meet takes place the following weekend. Right now it's basketball, though. Hereford trails by seven. Perryton inbounds. We're, they're double teamed with 4.15 to go. Cervantes through some traffic, picks up his dribble, gets it back to Tadongo. Cervantes has it now across half court. And Estrada on the far side will get it back to Tarongo. Now halfway through this fourth, four minutes to play. Cervantes guarded by Duque. Tarongo has it back to Cervantes. They're going to they're gonna try to waste as much time as they can. Estrada to Schilling. Schilling to Cervantes on the far side wing now. Picks up his dribble. Tarongo has it. Estrada with 3.35 to go in this ball game. Lopez gets a tip on it. Cervantes loses it. Oh, and yeah, we're going to get a foul on Perez here. And uh, that's going to be Perez's fourth. So may see him come out. That would be huge for us right now. 3.30 to go. Perryton with four fouls in this fourth period. And Garcia comes in. Perez out for the Rangers. Garcia in foul trouble himself. They're two big guys with three and four fouls respectively. Duque brings it down. 3.25 to go. Tie to Viegas. Easy bucket for Diego. He puts up the uh, four-footer for two. Cervantes to Schilling. Herford trails by five. They get it ahead to Tarango. Lopez pushes it out. Oh, we're going to get a foul called on Bryland from the referee all the way across the court. Bryland's third, team third. Perryton inbounds to Garcia. Herford steals it. Duque back the other way for the White Faces through traffic. And uh, we'll draw the foul and go to the line and shoot two. Let's be on Garcia here. Uh, it's on uh, Cervantes. That's his fourth, though. Cervantes with four fouls. And that is the team fifth. So any fouls past this will result in uh, two shots for Herford. Duque goes to the line for two. <laughs> this is setting up to be just what hopefully we needed. Ty's first one's up and in. Herford back to within four after trailing by nine in this quarter at one point. 60-56. Duque puts up his second. It's in. Ty six for six from the line in this fourth period. Estrada back to Schilling. Perryton just trying to get it across half court. Ethan Gonzalez on him. Lopez. Oh, Herford with the steal. Oh, man. Gosh, just a little too excited to go back our way. Cervantes has it now for Perryton. And uh, Herford gets the steal. Duque open. And Ty puts it up and draws the foul again. This one's going to be on Estrada, his third. And uh, again, Perryton within, uh, or Perryton already has five. So Ty has a chance to bring us within one here. Duque goes to the line. Ty makes his first. 60, 58. Herford down by two. 2.42 to go here in this fourth period. How sweet a victory it would be. Duque. Runs through his routine, puts it up, and it's in. Eight for eight in this fourth period. Perryton gets it into Schilling, back to Cervantes. Herford, though, with a full court press. Lopez on him. Schilling has it now on the far side. Down low to Garcia. He misses. And, uh, oh, man, we're going to get a, a rebounding foul on Ethan. Ethan's third, Herford's fourth. And that was a shooting foul. So Avon Garcia will go to the line. He's one for two on the night in free throws. Misses the first. 
good crowd on hand for Perryton tonight for senior night. Honestly, for her for two, there's a pretty good white face crowd up in the stands. Garcia puts up his second with a one point lead. Made it. 61-59, Lopez brings it down for Herford with 2.29 to go. Duque to Viegas, Diego back to tie for three. It's in. Tie from downtown is having himself a fourth period. 62 to 61, and this one's gonna stay Herford's way. It's gotta stay Herford's way. Refs are looking for some, oh, they're calling it Perryton's way. And uh, Perryton will throw it in, down by one. Schilling, I don't know what happened there to be honest with you folks. Oh, and they get tie on a push. I mean, Duque just had his, just had a hand on him. Coach, coach knows that's five for Herford. Cervantes will go to the line. We need Julian to foul out here. Perryton trails by one, Cervantes, first one's up and in. They're back to tied at 61 here, 62, my apologies. Cervantes, second one is up and in. 63, 62, Perryton up by one. Duque brings it back with 2.07 to go here in quarter number four. Brandon to Brylin, Brylin pulls up from eight feet, misses. And uh, we don't get the rebound. Tarongo's back the other way for Perryton and makes it. The easy bucket for Aiden Tarongo. 65, 62, Herford down by three. Duque cross court to Brandon, back to Ty. Ty outside to Ethan. Ethan puts it on the ground and pulls up from 10 feet and makes it. Gonzalez with a pretty jumper there to bring us back within one. A minute 35 to go. Cervantes back outside to Tarongo who loses it. Oh, he keeps it though. Schilling has it up top now. The freshman picks up his dribble. He's double teamed. He's going to need some help. And uh, Perryton wants a timeout on that note. So we will take one with Coach Dutcher. Herford trails by one, 64 65. A minute 29 to go. We're back in 30 seconds right here on KPAM. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products, including home, auto, business, and farm insurance, with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure you're covered. All right, folks, back here in Perryton. White faces trailing by one to the Rangers. Uh, again, uh, Rangers getting the uh, first district win in our first meeting. A, a win tonight would be huge for the herd. Uh, very much needed for the uh, White Faces. And the teams have broken uh, under a minute and a half to go here in this fourth quarter. Duque, Viegas, Brandon Gonzalez, Ethan Gonzalez, and Brylin Lopez. Again, uh, a shooter's five out for the White Faces. Lopez on Cervantes. And Prylan's going to be called with a foul there. Cervantes will go to the line and shoot two. And that's going to be Prylan's fourth. Cervantes makes the first. 66 64. Cervantes misses the second. Viegas gets the rebound for Herford, and Bryland's back the other way. Whew, we needed that. Lopez has it, guarded by Tarongo, gets it to Ethan on the near side. Brandon has it up top. Duque for three. Ty misses. Cervantes with the rebound for Perryton. Picks up his dribble. He's double teamed. They get it to Tarongo, to Schilling. <laughs> Schilling ahead, and... Uh, this one's going to be off of Perryton and back Herford's way, which we needed. And the Perryton coach is furious. And, uh, man, one just went his way. You, you got to take them both sides, coach. 
Ethan will throw it in from the far corner. Herford trails by two, a minute to go. Duque has it for the white faces. Brandon on the far side. Gonzalez dribbles, gives it to Brylin. Brylin to Brandon. To Ty. Ty dribbles back around. Coach uh, Brown, I was, gosh, Ty had kind of thrown it away, but Coach Brown had called the time before uh, that had happened. And uh, Coach wants a full one, so we will take one with him. We're back in 60 seconds right here on KPAN. First Financial Bank wonders, how does your credit card treat you? Well, their bill is always on time. Does that count? You should visit First Financial. We have a variety of credit card options. Once approved, you'll get rewards just for using them. Rewards? Yes, like cash back, gift cards, travel, and more. I could get used to treatment like that. First Financial Bank, you first. The creditor and issuer of these cards is along financial services. See FFIN.com for details. Cash back redeemable is a cash deposit to your First Financial checking or savings account or as a statement credit. Needing extra income? Looking for a full-time job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. Gonzalez inbounds to Duque, 43 seconds to go. Ty has it up top, gets it to Brylin. Brylin to Brandon. Brandon dribbles around, takes a three. Brandon off target. Viegas there on the rebound. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on Diego. Oh, man. They're going to call a foul on Diego. That, uh, wow. Viegas with his first <laughs> on the night. And the, uh, I guess, I was thinking that was going to be Garcia, but Peta is going to go to the line and shoot two. Sammy's first one's up and out. Herford trails by two. We need a miss and a bucket, folks, badly. 33 seconds to go. Perez misses. Brandon Gonzalez with the rebound for the white faces. Brylin brings it back. Ethan has it now. Brylin to Brandon. Don't take a silly three. We just need a shot, y'all. Ty dribbles in. And is, that is an unbelievable call. Coach Brown is furious. Uh, a charge is called on Duque, and that is his fifth. So Ty fouls out. And uh, Co, I mean, can't believe it. <sighs> Coach Brown wants a uh, time on that note, and we will take one with him. Man, folks, 20 seconds to go here. Herford Trail 64 to 66. We're back with the end of our fourth quarter action in 30 seconds right here on KPAN. Herford ISD, we are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Herford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Herford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! Herford trailing by two. And uh, Harrington, we need a steal in a bucket <laughs> so bad. Yes, and Perryton called on the uh, violation, and their coach is furious trying, uh, trying for a uh, little uh, finagery, and it doesn't work. Okay, ref's going to get an explanation to the coach, and he's going to tell him he needs to get off the court or he's going to get a T. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need any of that, coach. couple subs for Perryton. Garcia and Perez will come in. Daughtry and Tarongo out. 
And the White Faces with the chance here, trailing by two. We've got the ball below our own bucket. I mean, how, why would you try something like that this late when you're leading? Brandon Gonzalez for three, makes it. Brandon with a huge three-pointer for the White Faces, 67-66. Herford up by one. Oh, are they going to? Oh, okay, let's see if we're going to get a foul called on Brylin. This is just unbelievable. Brylin Lopez called for the push when, I'm telling you, y'all, you got to rewatch the tape there. That's his fifth. And he's just falling after the ball. It, it hopefully won't make a difference. Bermudez will come in for Lopez. Brylin fouls out for the White Faces. Duque fouls out for Herford. Uh, Brylin. He's, he's not a contester. He'll take the foul, but Cervantes misses. That was huge. Misses the first one. It's 67-66. Herford still up by one. Cervantes with a chance to tie it, though. Bermudez and Gonzalez low on the blocks for the white faces. Second one's up and in. 67-67. All. 11 seconds to go. It's going to be Herford's ball on the throw in. Again. That was a huge three from Brandon Gonzalez just to get us to this point. <laughs> what a nail biter. And yeah, we hope you've stayed with us. I mean, this is, uh, it, it was, it kind of has gone every way. 18 13 after one, Perryton up. 32 28 after two, Herford up. 55-47 after three. Perryton up by eight. And right now, 67-67 with 11 seconds to go here in this fourth period. And again, it's going to be a white face ball and a chance to, gosh, a chance for a huge W here on senior night in Rangerland. Bermudez, Nick Torres, Ethan Gonzalez, Diego Villegas, Brandon Gonzalez. Your five for the white faces here with 11 to go. We don't want OT. I want a bucket. Gosh. Perryton's not going to press, so Herford's going to have, well, they're going to bring one up, but Herford is essentially going to have full range to bring one down. All right, eight seconds to go. Brandon Gonzalez has it. He gets it to Ethan. Ethan dribbles in to Bermudez. Loses it. Brandon has it for three. Misses. All right. 67. 67. And that will uh, bring us to some OT here. Trying to make sure I understand everything here. Okay, so timeouts will remain, and you get one more. There will be a jump at center court, and it is four-minute quarters for as long as it takes to break a tie. The, uh, yeah, the, the unfortunate part is I just heard Coach Peyton Gonzalez mention is the double bonus uh, for both teams as they were both in foul trouble will carry over into OT. So any foul is two shots. Um, this is just huge for the White Faces. We have got to find a way, not just to win, but to pull ahead and win this thing by a few here tonight. It is, uh, there's nails on the floor. People have been biting them for the last 15 minutes. They brought in some extra towels for all the sweat. And Bermudez and Pettis will jump again. Juan. That one goes Perryton's way. Cervantes has it. Again, Cervantes with four, so a foul on him would just be huge in the white face's favor. Schilling guarded by Ethan. Back to Cervantes. Nick Torres is on him. Tarango has it for three. It's short. And uh, Brandon gets the rebound for the white faces. Back the other way is Torres now. 3.35 to go. Nick to Viegas. Diego puts it on the ground, feeds it inside to Ethan. Ethan puts it on the ground and loses it. 
Cervantes back the other way for Perryton. 67-67, Herford tied. Schilling, oh, I got away with a travel. Tarango loses it, gonna be Herford's ball. Huge, could be a huge break. Every possession counts here, folks, every possession. 3.15 to go. Whiteface fans on the railing. As much noise as we can get. Nick dribbles down the baseline. Viegas has it. Diego pulls up from 14 feet, misses. Perryton gets the rebound, and the Rangers are back the other way. Schilling to Estrada. Cervantes back to Schilling. Up top, under three to go. Tarango has it for three. Makes it. Aiden, huge, huge three-pointer there. 70-67. Herford trails by three. Torres for three for the white faces. It's in and out, and Perryton gets the rebound. Again, we don't want to, we really don't want to let this get any farther than it is. Cervantes for three, misses. Gonzalez with the rebound for Herford, gives it to Brandon. Brandon the other way for the white faces. Ethan to Juan. Bermudez puts up a three, misses. Viegas with the rebound. Oh! Viegas, uh, Gosh, was just covered up by Schilling. That's that's a hard one not to call over the back on, but that goes down as a tie ball, and it will be Herford's ball below our own goal. Schilling comes out, Garcia in for Perryton. Nick throws it into Ethan. That pass is tipped, and uh, Perez gonna be called for the foul on Bermuda. So Juan will go to the line, and that is number five for Sammy Perez, so he'll come out of the game. Uh, the senior for the Rangers has fouled out. And two free throws here from Bermudez would be huge. Schilling back in for Perryton. Wands. First one is up and short. Bermudez having a, a little bit of a colder night offensively. He hasn't seen a ton of time. He got into foul trouble early too. Here's his second though to make this a two point game. Makes it. Good shot from Juan there. 70 68. Herford gets the steal. Brandon has it up top. Down by two. The pass to Ethan across the court. Gonzalez has it with 2.10 to go. Viegas now back to Ethan. Ethan to Brandon. Brandon to Nick. Nick on the baseline gets it back to Brandon. Brandon back to Nick. Torres for three off target. Whiteface is going to get the rebound to Viegas. Oh, Brandon loses it on the pass to Torres, and Cervantes goes all the way and gets the bucket and will go to the line and shoot. That one on Brandon Gonzalez. Cervantes gets the two. 72-68, and will go to the line. We have cut. Man, we could draw a foul on him and get him out of the game. One shot here. It's up. It's in. 73 68. Herford down by five. A minute 44 to go. Brandon to Nick. Torres to. Dribbling through some traffic. Viegas has it now up top. Gets it to Ethan. Ethan again needs to draw a foul on Cervantes. Coach Brown wants a timeout, so we'll keep possession. And we'll take one with him. We're back. Herford trailing 68 to 73 with a minute 28 to go. We're back in 30 seconds right here with Whiteface Basketball on KPA again. The community of Herford continues to be committed to the Herford Whitefaces, just as Happy State Bank is committed to our customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Herford White Faces, starting a business, or planning for the future, Happy State Bank is here for all your life's moments. Let us be your partner at Happy State Bank. Visit us in person or at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, folks, back here in Perryton for a thriller. We are in overtime, a minute 28 to go. Herford trails by five. It's going to be a white faces ball down low. Ethan will throw in for the white faces. 
Gonzalez inbounds to Brandon. Brandon stuffed on a three-point attempt. And uh, Perryton quickly back the other way, gets the easy layup. That's Estrada. And they now lead 75-68. Nick Torres to Ethan Villegas for three for the White Faces. It's off target. Bermudez fights for the rebound. Nick Torres gets it. And it's out on uh, the White Faces. It's going to be Perryton's ball. Schilling will throw in for the Rangers. Just over a minute to play. Herford trails by seven. Schilling to Tarango to Cervantes, who's fouled by Ethan Gonzalez. That's going to be Ethan's fourth, and Cervantes will go to the line and shoot two. Man, oh man, oh man. A game that the White Faces should have won tonight. It was very likely going to go the other way again. 77, 68. Cervantes made them both. Gonzalez throws it away, but going to get a foul on... Uh, there is a foul on uh, Cervantes. That's his fifth, and he will foul out there. So Cervantes out of the game with 53 seconds to go. Maybe uh, maybe I spoke too soon. This, this may not be over yet. Casting on comes in for the Rangers. And Cervantes out his final time uh, in the uh, Ranger uniform. Bermudez makes his first, 69-77. Juan will shoot again. It's up, it's in, Bermudez made them both. 77-70, Herford steals it, oh. Called on the line. Perryton wants a, uh, time with 49 seconds to go they lead by seven we will take a 60 second break and be back with fourth quarter action right here on kpan Whatever your type of home, experience a new level of home comfort with a new Bryant Evolution system. When installed with the Evolution Connects control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air at 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. All right, folks, Perryton will throw it in here. 49 seconds to go. They lead by seven. But their best player is out of the game. This isn't just completely out of reach now, I don't think. A jump ball. And that one's going to go uh, Perryton's way. Uh, Sideline throw in right here in front of the white face bench. Schilling will throw it in. He does so to the white faces. Viegas comes up with it. Brandon Gonzalez back the other way. Nick Torres has it. Ethan for three. Brandon gets the rebound. Nick Torres for three now. Nick short on that one. Viegas with the rebound and Di Diego goes up for the shot and that one's going to go on Garcia. <laughs> and that's going to be uh, Garcia's fourth. His fifth actually. My apologies. So he's out. No more big guys left for Perryton. Two made shots here, brings us within five. Villegas will shoot two from 16 feet. Twenty-six point six seconds to play here in this first period of overtime. Diego's first one's out. Eleven, 
Carranza in for the first time tonight for Perryton. Viegas missed them both. Perryton with the rebound, back the other way. And Viegas draws the foul, gets the foul. That's going to be his second, but will certainly send a Ranger to the line. 22 seconds to go. Perryton has a chance to stretch this lead to nine. Tarango makes the first. Seventy-eight, seventy. Makes them both. Seventy-nine to seventy. Twenty-two seconds to go. Perryton steals our inbounds pass, and it's off of them, so we'll go back Herford's way. Twenty seconds still left in this one. Ethan inbounds to Brandon. Brandon back the other way for the White Faces. Gonzalez to Ethan. Ethan all the way to the bucket, and uh, we'll draw the foul and go to the line and shoot. That one's going to be on Schilling. Twelve seconds to go, Ethan, with a chance at two here. First one's up and in. 79-71. Makes them both. 79-72. Perryton will take a uh, time there. We'll take one with him. Herford trails by seven, 12 seconds to go. We're back in 30 seconds right here on KPAN. As the new year unfolds, new projects are born. If you are interested or have any questions regarding a consumer or commercial loan, First National Bank of Herford can assist you. You will be working with Herford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online consumer application or visit any of our locations to apply for your personal or business needs. First National Bank of Herford, we have roots where others have branches. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. All right, back here in Perryton. 12 seconds to go in this one. The Rangers lead by seven. They get it inbounds to Daughtry. And they're going to win this one, folks. Uh, Tarango is fouled and will go to the line and shoot. That one called on Ethan, and that is his fifth. So Gonzalez fouls out for the White Faces. Ethan uh, takes a spot on the bench. Seven seconds. Five seconds to go, seven points. Separate the Rangers and the White Faces. Tarango will shoot two for Perryton. Misses the first. Second one from Tarango is up and in. Perryton, 80-72 over the White Faces. And Estrada with the takeaway, and that'll do it. Herford falls by eight. 80 to 72. The Rangers get it done over the White Faces here in Perryton today. We'll send it back for a 60-second uh, break and be back to wrap up our stats right here on KPAN. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance has protected fellow Texans with auto, home, health, and life insurance since 1952. With more than 260,000 square miles of land and 27 million people, that's a lot to cover. Whether you're wrangling cattle or wrangling kids, we're proud to protect Texans in all Texan ways of life. Call Deaf Smith County Farm Bureau at 806-364-1070 to speak with an agent today. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Are you tired of arguing with your children about screen time? WTRT and WT Services can help. You can enforce the limits you've set in your home with Experience IQ from WTRT and WT Services. You can schedule when the internet is turned off to make sure bedtime is screen free. You automate screen time for your children by adding Experience IQ to the WT Smart Home app. Download the app today. All right, folks, we uh, 
Gosh, I think we got some extracurricular activity going on uh, with uh, Perryton fans and uh, Whiteface players. It's It honestly is kind of really not a great place to be. Uh, the fans trying to go down the stairs right as the players are exiting the floor. And you hear the announcer now saying that that's not that's not where you should be. Thankfully, that happened. Um, there's no exit over there. I don't know why they'd be going out that way. Anyway, the White Faces fall by eight tonight, 72 to 80, six and seven on the district campaign. Uh, man, if Pampa won tonight. We're tied in fourth with one game to go. So uh, a uh, just a, a loss that didn't need to happen for the herd this evening. And uh, for the uh, White Faces, Ty Duque led all scores with 19 on Hereford side. Diego Villegas with 16. Ethan Gonzalez had nine. Brandon Gonzalez with eight. Uh, Nick Torres with eight. Brylan Lopez had five. Uh, Juan Bermudez with seven for the uh, white faces and that does it for the scoring side on Perryton side we'll just tell you this was honestly pretty impressive 36 points from senior Julian Cervantes 36 points on senior night uh, we just didn't have an answer for him that's that was that was part of the trouble tonight emotions were high tonight um, but the white faces just didn't get it done is, is the bottom line we lose by eight we're at home on Tuesday against Borger for the district finale and we've got to get a win uh, that is going to be a six o'clock tip off for senior night we hope to see you there we'll uh, get you some updates from wrestling uh, either tomorrow evening or Monday morning again uh, already have had some Advance to the uh, semis tomorrow. Uh, great showing so far uh, for uh, herd wrestlers, but uh, the basketball team falls to Perryton tonight, 72 to 80 on the road. That'll do it for us here on KPAN. For all your Whiteface Sports sponsors, I'm Lane Forming, wishing you a wonderful evening, weekend ahead. Enjoy the snowfall. We'll see you back Tuesday with Whiteface Sports right here on KPAN. <laughs>